Donald Trump will remain on the ballot despite court decisions in some states to make him ineligible for the 2024 election. The Supreme Court yesterday unanimously rejected the ruling from Colorado Supreme Court that removed the former president from the ballot based on Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. Joining us now, Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold. She will oversee today's Colorado primary and is chair of the Democratic Association of Secretaries of State. So a twofold first question for you, your reaction, of course, to the Supreme Court ruling. And how do you think the primaries are going to go today? Good morning. Happy Super Tuesday. Thanks for having me on. Uh, first and foremost, I, I would say that it's good the Supreme Court actually rendered their decision. Mm -hmm. In Colorado, 500,000 people had already voted uh, in the Republican primary. Coloradans deserve to know and Americans deserve to know whether Donald Trump is a qualified candidate. With that said, I'm disappointed in the decision. I think states like Colorado uh, deserve to have the choice to keep oath-breaking insurrectionists off of our ballots. And there's larger implications for federal insur or insurrectionists running for federal office under this decision. Uh, Super Tuesday, everything's going great in Colorado. I assume we're going to have great elections across the nation and just encourage your voters to make their voices heard. Uh, democracy is on the ballot this year. There are so many crucial issues that Americans can weigh in on, and we do that at the polls. Madam Secretary, it was noteworthy that even though it was unanimous opinion, some of the justices suggested that perhaps they, they disagreed with the idea that solely Congress could step in and, and, and prevent an insurrectionist, as you say, uh, from running again. Do you have any faith, though, that Congress will ever step forward with legislation that could safeguard this piece of our elections? I think that's one of the big concerns from this decision. The majority of the Supreme Court decided Congress could act. Uh, but this Congress is almost non-functional, so the likelihood of that is very low. That means that if there is an oath-breaking insurrectionist running for any federal office, they basically have, uh, a, you know, just freedom to run without any consequence. The purpose of Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, at least in my view, is to safeguard the country from insurrectionists taking office and destroying democracy from within. So I think it's really concerning, given, uh, given that this Congress is so unlikely to take any type of real action on the matter. Secretary Griswold, have you had to, town by town, city by city, county by county in Colorado, make any extra preventive security measures to protect poll workers? Unfortunately, in Colorado, we have seen a lot of threats to election officials and predominantly, to tell you the truth, uh, elected election officials, myself, county clerks, people in our offices. And yes, we have really focused on physical security since actually 2021, to tell you the truth. Uh, that includes legislative changes. I led a law making it a crime to open carry close to voting. We made it a crime to dox or retaliate against election workers. I also led the nation's first law making it a felony to compromise voting equipment. And then I just announced last week uh, $3.5 million for counties to further increase their physical security and access for voters. Uh, you know, seeing the threat environment, it is incredibly concerning. We have had 38% of our county clerks step down since mm. 2020. Wow. wow. That is incredible. With that said, yeah, go ahead. We, we can't allow people who would use intimidation or threats to win that battle. What they're trying to do is get good Republicans and Democrats to step down so that, that people who do not believe in the right to vote can step in. Uh, I will not be intimidated. Just from the Supreme Court case, I've received over 500 violent threats since it was filed initially in September. I won't be intimidated. We are ready to go in Colorado. And frankly, we cannot allow people who would use threats to win. Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold, thank you very much for coming on the show this morning. Thank you for what you're doing. We appreciate it.